Hello. Well, in this vlog, I'm gonna take you over several days, possibly several weeks, and just show you all the things that we are accomplishing here while we're settling into the home, making it more functional for us, putting our little touches throughout our home. This is just gonna be one of probably a few segments of us making changes and just unpacking and getting situated into this house. I'm gonna first start you off with the refrigerator. So we got our fridge and it doesn't work. <laughs> You can see into the side of it. You can see right into the refrigerator. And the repairman came out and said that you can see that it is bowing right here on the left side. He said there's no repairing to it. He said we're gonna have to get a new one. So we're waiting on a new one. And it has been about two and a half weeks so far, but we're due this week for delivery. We got this beauty today. There's no dings, no dents. It's running, cooling off perfectly, and it's starting to make ice, which just makes me happy. In case you're wondering, it's a Frigidaire gallery. And it even has a slot for pizza boxes. How perfect is that? <laughs> That actually is one of the things that sold me on this refrigerator. It has plenty of shelves, plenty of crispers. There's three drawers in here, and then the door has quite a few shelves. Oh, I cannot wait to start filling this up. I need organization. I need organization for my mind, <laughs> for my home. <laughs> I just feel better when things are put in its place. So I jumped on Amazon, found a whole bunch of organization stuff because I need to organize our bathroom, linen closet, and the little linen shelves in Timothy's bathroom. I'm gonna show you what I found for organizing and then I'll show you a before picture and an after picture. I found these turntables or Lazy Susans on Amazon and they are quite large. They're gonna hold a lot. I'm hoping to use okay. these for my cleaners and things like that. And then I also found these bins, they're open so I can easily see what's inside of them and pull them out when I need something. This caddy, I'm really excited about. They will hold a lot of different things. You can use it for prescriptions, hardware in your garage, cosmetics, essential oils. This is before pictures and after pictures that they use them for. And they pull out and you can flip them like so. And then you can easily see your stuff. I'm a little disappointed because I thought it was two separate units. It's not, it's two units on the same base. I may have to order another one. I need a place to store some makeup. So I found this, it's an Audrey collection. These are a smaller cube. You can use them separately or you can stack them up. And they have pull out drawers. And then I have these ones are a little bit taller. These are not the Audrey collection. These are different. I'll have this stuff linked below. These are, I believe these are a refrigerator bin, <laughs> but I'm gonna use them in my linen closet. And then I have these bins and it's gonna help me be able to see what's in them because right now I have just, I'll show you. This is what we're using right now and as you can tell, I can't see what's in here. So every time I need to use them, I have to pull them out to be able to see what's in there. And it's gonna be nice being able to see what's in these bins. So, this is before. This is the linen closet all finished. So I have these where I can see what's in them much better. Very happy about that. Jason's got his stuff in little cubbies with pull out drawers. I have my makeup, nail polish, lipsticks, all of that in these little cubbies with pull out drawers. I do need another one of these. That will go up in this area when I get the other one. And the hamper, I moved to this side, put the scale there so we can reach it and set it because before it was way back here and put extra toilet paper down there. Now things are gonna still switch. I'm going to be moving things around because we want to get a cabinet over the toilet. And I know after we do that, some of the stuff from the linen closet is going to go over into the cabinet above the toilet. But for now, everything is unpacked in the bathroom. I'm so excited about that. That box was just intimidating to me because there was just so many things that I had to go through. It took me the majority of my day. This is before. 
So I put the toilet paper up there for now. Um, I could do probably Kleenex or something up there eventually. And then for the first turntable, these hold a lot of things. I have extra bathroom sprays, bug killers, and then a bottle of bleach is on that. This is the garbage bags, a box of the Swiffer dusters. This is everything that we use like immediately. So these four cleaners are what we grab for the most. And then I'm just, I have all the other cleaners in here as well. And then alongside of it, I have the duster, rags, and cleaning gloves. You can hear the tea maker gurgling in the back. What we are doing today is we have an area that we want to decorate. Now, we have kind of run into a little snag with UPS. They are not delivering out here where we live. We live in an existing neighborhood. It's just the roads that we're on are new but the neighborhood has been here for five plus years. They won't deliver to us. Jason has been calling them. He's been, I mean, just he's done everything and they just won't. Everything that we have coming through UPS, they, UPS takes it, says it's damaged, and UPS ships it back to the store. So, what we decided to do is we've been having stuff come into Home Depot, right in there. We go pick it up, bring it here. We've been ordering things through Amazon, which delivers to the house. FedEx delivers to the house without a problem. I mean, everybody's delivering but UPS. But anyway, we have furniture and all this stuff that came in and I cannot wait to start decorating. Jason's put in the table together right now, but I'm gonna first show you the area that we're gonna decorate. We have this space right here that is an awkward little space. This wall is quite short, as you can see here, but it's right as you walk in the front door and we are going to decorate this area. This is what it looks like now when you walk in the front door. Don't you love it? I am so excited. I want to put some black lanterns or something here. Pillows and baskets can go down here. But this table will also house our keys and things like that. So as soon as everybody walks in the door, they can just pop their keys right into the drawers. And this table we found at Home Depot and I will have it linked below along with this lamp. It's like a, almost like a beveled glass. It's just beautiful and the lampshade is really pretty. And that is from Home Depot as well. I'll have that linked below. And then this mirror is from Kirkland's, which will be linked. It's got these little distressed wooden beads on the frame. I think it just looks so good and it pulls this whole little area together perfectly. Me and Jason have quite the DVD collection, and we need an area for our DVDs and our CDs to go. So we ordered this cabinet at Home Depot. This is the shelf, so the doors slide open like so. We're in the study, and this is where the media center is going. And we went ahead and put all of our movies into it. So this morning, Jason started out at Home Depot because they got a hold of Jason later on yesterday and told us that there was an order in. Of course, it was an order that UPS was in charge of and they returned it. And what it is, is it's a post, right? It's a post, yeah, Jason? Yeah, corner post. Yeah. Corner post for the back porch because we're waiting to finish off that back porch, but UPS had shipped everything back, all of our materials. So we've been waiting for Home Depot to get the materials in to be able to finish the back porch. We're not exactly sure what we're doing today, but it is the first thing we're gonna start off with is ceiling fan. Our bedroom has a ceiling fan, but the boys's and the extra bedroom does not have a ceiling fan. So we went and got ceiling fans, I'll show you. Okay, these are by Harbor Breeze and we found them at, I believe it was Home Depot. If I can find them, I'll have them linked. But they have like a black metal uh, cover over the lights. I just think those look so cool and they're gonna look great in the rooms. Okay, so while Jason's putting together fans, how you doing over there, honey? Oh, I'm doing all right. 
<laughs> Oops, you're on camera. I know. Are you guzzling water behind me? Yeah, water, not vodka. Just <laughs> I am going to get the stuff that's out in the refrigerator in the garage and I'm gonna move it into the refrigerator here and get that done and then we can quit living out of both refrigerators so much oh Jason found my hats oh I am so excited about this there has been a few mornings that I get up and I need to just throw a hat on and head out the door to run and go to an appointment or do something and I don't have my hats, I can't find them. And the other day Jason was even saying, you know, I had somebody come into the house really early in the morning and he was like, just throw on a hat, throw on some clothes, throw on a hat and you're good. And I'm like, I can't find my hats. And he was like, oh, <laughs> he found them for me. Oh, I'm so excited. And also, in a previous video, we had discussed, me and all of you, had discussed where to place our bed. I was between the wall that's behind me or between the windows. We put it on the window wall and it fits really super good there. Bed's not made, sorry about that. I'm not great at that. But yeah, we love it there. And then we have our footstools at the end of the bed, which is perfect. The room will be nice and open once all of the boxes are cleared. And there it is, the first one is up. We have two more to go, but this one's in Justin's room, which he desperately needs because the window is right here and his room gets warm. So it is so pretty. We are out at Target. Justin got out of work early, so me, him, and Timothy ran into Target and I was shopping for things that we needed for the house. And I will show you the stuff that I got as soon as I get home. I got this lamp, I'm testing it out on the coffee station. I don't know if I want it there or here, but it is so pretty and I figure it'll draw in through the lampshade has like some grays and browns and then the lamp base itself is like a creamish colored white. I think it looks really good on the darker table. And then I got this wicker basket. I believe this was $15, but I think this will look really cute on the bottom of that white table in the front. That's perfect. I think that is adorable. And that adds a little something to that table. And I found this soap refill bottle there, and it's the rainwater scent that we are absolutely loving right now. I was gonna get just a, another hand pump one, and then underneath of it, I saw that there's the refill bottles, and I was like, oh, <laughs> I'll just get the refill bottle and then I can refill my soap dispenser on my kitchen sink. I may move this lamp over to the other side of the coffee station, but for now I'm gonna leave it here because it just helps us get more light in the living room area while I am finding and supplying our home with lamps. Today I am waiting on a delivery. I am so excited about this delivery. I cannot wait for it to get here. I thought the delivery was from eight to 10. So I'm like scrambling around, getting ready this morning. I set my alarm, got up. And then I was like, oh no, I'm running late. It was like, hmm, I think quarter after eight. And I was like, oh no, what if they get here and I'm not ready? <sighs> Come to find out, <laughs> it's from 10 to one. <laughs> and they're gonna let us know before they come out. So I'm just kind of waiting right now, but I'm all ready for the day, so that's a plus. <laughs> but as soon as it gets here, I will show you what it is. We moved the entry table into the den, so it is sitting underneath of the television, and in its place, we have this beauty. <laughs> This is from Ashley Furniture. It is a dresser, but I am going to use it as a buffet. This has a lot of storage in it, so I'll be able to keep blankets and things like that in it. It has like a velvet lining in each of the top drawers. The bottom drawers are nice and deep, so it's going to be able to hold a lot of things that we need to store and I am looking very forward to decorating the top of it. I will show you that in just a minute. These are the lamps and we added a mirror, but the lamps we got at Kirkland's, I absolutely love them. I think they go perfectly with this dresser. And then the mirror, we ordered this through Ashley Furniture as well. The frame is actually more white, 
but once we got it up above the dresser, it kind of changed colors a little, and I think it blends really well with the dresser. Today we received a beautiful rug that was delivered to our home. We got this through Rug Studio here in Austin. We found it on sale. Online it had said that the stock was getting very low. So we put the order in rather quickly and we were notified that we weren't going to get it. They ran out just before they got to our order. We were pretty bummed about it. And the company ended up reaching out to Jason and said that there was a lady that had ordered two of them before us. They didn't have two available. So she canceled her order and we were next in line and we got our rug because we only needed one. We got the rug treated for stain resistance and we also got a pad that goes underneath of it. It's a non-slip pad and it gives it extra cushion, makes it more comfortable, and I think it looks just gorgeous by the front door. It's a good way to enter the home with a nice pop of color. There's Jason! Hi! Coming home from work! Jason and the boys went and picked up these. These are the bookshelves and that is what is going on here tonight so jason and the boys are going to put together the bookshelves and the boys i'll show you <laughs> what they've been doing they emptied out the study so this was all full of these boxes here and these boxes here so they started going through their boxes they have books and all kinds of stuff and they're donating a bunch of stuff um oh and i got my hair done today i got it a little bit shorter because my hair grows out really fast so i was like take it up just a little bit plus it's been so hot out here i'm like i'll get the summer cut and then i'll let it grow out a little bit probably through the fall and winter but i will show you as soon as he gets the shelves put together we got them through did where did we get them lowe's home depot Home Depot. Home Depot had them. Yep. And we got two different sizes because we need one for one one, one for the other. Okay, the first one is done. This one is the smaller of the two because the wall, it literally takes up the whole part of this wall. So now Jason's going to work on the second one. Are you excited to start working on the second one? Yeah, the second one will be easier because after the first one you know how to do it. So it'll be... That's true. Hopefully it'll go quicker. Yeah. And this is the second bookshelf. These are quite large, so these are gonna hold a lot of items. This is how we have it set up. Hello, well, it's a couple days later. I hope I'm not wearing the same shirt because I just did laundry last night and I put this on and I was like, I hope I'm not wearing the same shirt I was wearing the other day when I was talking to you. <laughs> But anyway, <laughs> I want to show you where we're at with the study. So we do not have the TV hooked up yet because Jason, we can't find the cable to the television. He looked and looked in tons of boxes, couldn't find it. And then him and Justin jumped online and you found it. Where did you find it? Justin found the cord at Amazon. So we're hoping we get that delivered today. And then this stuff up here, I mean, that's just ugly. <laughs> We're hoping to do a shelf eventually to put those on or maybe disguise them somehow. I don't know. But that is all of the internet and, you know, all that kind of jazz that you just can't. It just is ugly. It's like, you know it's going to be a part of a house. Why can't you guys make it pretty? But they don't. And this is where the boys are with the shelves. They did really well. This one still has some empty spaces. And then this one. They split them up, so Justin has half and Tim has half. Other than that, Jason got the grill hooked up to from propane to natural gas, which is a line that runs in our home, and we are loving that. As a matter of fact, I put together a marinade, and I am going to grill chicken tonight for dinner. Jason also added a rack underneath of the kitchen sink just like what we had in Amarillo and I can hang my dish rags, dish towels, cleaning gloves, things like that. I knew I wanted it because I can't stand stuff hanging over the doors or just placed on the side of the sink and so I'm glad that's done too. We have a lot more that we need to do and I will be grabbing all of it in a future video to share with you so make sure you're watching. Here are two videos to get you caught up in case you're behind. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you soon.